Hello my viewers. Before showing you the ice machine tour, I thought I'd show you something here on my smartphone. It's the Baker Distributing Company Mobile. Uh, and, well, it's just m.bakerdist.com. And they have some handy items in here for techs that are on the go like uh, let's say the web catalog the store locator announcements and other things like contact us and such let's try the store locator okay let's see if we've got to wait for it to here we go okay I'll enter my zip code right there Three, two, six, four, three. There we go. Um, enter, whatever, and find the store by zip. There we go. Let's see, there's um, some matches apparently. Looks like. Two matches, or wait, four matches. I got Gainesville, Lake City, Ocala, and Orange Park. And scroll up even further, and it shows you where on the map they are. All right, now it's off to the ice machine tour. Thank you. I'm standing in front of a Manitowoc ice machine. I'm going to take it apart. Here we have the ice bin. It's a good idea to make sure these screws can come out easy. You might want to use something like a never seize to make sure that when you put the screws back in that you'll be able to get them back out again. Because I've found that ice machines tend to get wet in some places that you don't really want it to get wet and those screws happen to be one of those places. These are the cleaning system instructions for when you need to clean the system. It's posted on this door. Now what we're looking at here is the curtain. Now the curtain uh, opens when the ice is being harvested because the ice will push up against the curtain and signal the ice machine that it can go back in making ice. I'm going to remove the curtain to show you what's in back of it. You'll see that there's an ice probe that it's really important to keep clean. Here's what the ice thickness probe looks like on the wiring diagram. And here's an evaporator. This is where all the ice is made. Now I'll remove the panel to the right. What you'll see on the back side of the panel is this troubleshooting guide. And now I'll go ahead and remove the panel that covers the control section of the ice machine. In here you'll see the control board and here's what the control board looks like on a wiring diagram and right back in there is the contactor for the compressor and here's what the contactor looks like on a wiring diagram right there is a start capacitor right up there is a potential relay And here's what the potential relay and start cap looks like on the wiring diagram. Right here is the run capacitor. And here's the run capacitor on the wiring diagram. Over here is the information sticker. And it has the model and serial number and lots of other pertinent information like what kind of refrigerant, how much refrigerant is in the system, the voltage, and everything like that. We're moving the side panel. Ok, 
Okay, here we have the compressor. And here's what the compressor looks like on the wiring diagram. Back in there is the condensing fan motor. And here's what it looks like on the wiring diagram. And these are some pressure switches here. You'll see the pressure switch. And here's what the pressure switch looks like on the wiring diagram. And up there you'll also see a fan cycling control. Here's on the wiring diagram. Here's the dump solenoid valve. Here's what it looks like on the wiring diagram. And way back there, you'll see the harvest solenoid valve. It's so that when the system goes into harvest, that opens up, sends hot gas into the evaporator. And here's what it looks like in the wiring diagram. And here, right back there, is the water solenoid valve. Here's what it looks like on the wiring diagram. Here's the water pump right here and here's what it looks like on the wiring diagram. And here's the wiring diagram in its entirety.